In my previous video, I touched on why there's an issue with drafting at the Ironman World Championships. So for this video, I'm gonna propose my solution. I think the Ironman World Championship should move to a two-day event, but in two different locations. So for example, on the Saturday, the male pros could be in Hawaii with half of the age group field. And then on the Sunday, females could be at some other location that rotates around the world with the other half of the age group field. And then every year they trade places so that hypothetically you could be racing in Hawaii every other year. So although I don't think this is a perfect solution, there's a bunch of reasons why I think it'll help reduce the drafting and it might even increase the exposure of triathlon around the world. First, with half the number of athletes, you should be able to spread out the field a lot more. So I wouldn't suggest that you divide the age group athletes as males on one day and females on the other day. I do think that you should mix up the age groups to get as wide a range of abilities for both days as possible so that then you can really spread everybody out coming out of the water. With half the number of athletes, you could do age group starts with big gaps between the age groups so that there shouldn't be any overlap at the start of the bike. Second, I think this could be a very attractive solution for Ironman, and that's really important because they get to make the ultimate decision on this. For Ironman, they always want to be able to have different ways to showcase their event and reach new audiences around the world. Having the Ironman World Championship at a rotating location with half of their field can be a really great way to do that. So they're able to still preserve the mystique and the lure of Hawaii, but also get some exposure at different markets around the world. And finally, this could be really attractive to some athletes who aren't all that keen on going to Hawaii. So whether it's because of the cost of going to Hawaii, the time it's gonna take you to get there, or just the fact that you don't necessarily thrive under those Kona conditions, having a world championship that's moving around means that every other year, you could try and qualify for a race, whether you're a pro or an age grouper, that's gonna put you in some different terrains and let you see some different places around the world. So those are all the positives. What about the negatives? First of all, there's a lot of people who dream about doing the Ironman World Championship in Hawaii. They don't dream about doing it in Montreal Law. They don't dream about doing it in Australia. They don't dream about doing it in Germany. They want to do it in Hawaii. So for those people, if they were to qualify and they don't get to do it in Hawaii, it could be a little bit of a disappointment. It can be a big logistical challenge. So whether it's Ironman or different vendors or partners that would want to be at both locations can be a big challenge because you're going to have one race in Hawaii and then one race is going to be an ocean away and you've got to figure out how you're going to have resources for both of those spots. This doesn't guarantee it's going to solve the drafting issues. So sure, there's only half the number of athletes out there, but if we look at some of the big age groups, like male 40 to 44, where there's almost 400 athletes, a lot of those guys are going to be swimming a similar time. So they're all going to be starting the bike at about the same time, and it's going to be really hard to break them up. There will be the space out there for them to spread out, but it'll be up to officials to make sure that that's happening. A two-day Ironman World Championship spread out over two different locations isn't a perfect solution, but it's the best that I've been able to come up with, and I think it's a pretty good one. If anybody else has any ideas, I'm all ears and would love to hear it, because this is something that I hope Ironman does something about. So thanks a lot for watching this week's video. If you like what you see, you can click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this you crazy mother...